Hi guys, it's Lika here and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Lika and I review Love Activer. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today, it's gotta be swimmer though. I mean, swimmer is also a type of activewear, right? Because, I mean, you're still active like swimming and stuff. So um, yeah, I'll be doing swimmer today. I am reviewing Toluca swimmer. I've reviewed them before, like a few, like half a year ago or something. I will link that video here for you. And they currently, I hope at this point that I'm posting this video, still still have their 70% off sale going on. It's 70% off their whole website. And there's rumors that they're going, you know, going out of business. So um, if you think they have some cute items, you should better just get them now, I guess. And also at the 70% off rate they're really cheap um and quite affordable i would say so yeah i highly suggest that you get some stuff um and you can see some items that i've reviewed before in my other video um in case you're interested in those and i've got some new items here today so i basically have a whole lot of Tuluka stuff reviewed for you guys. I also recently did a um cheap versus expensive or affordable versus expensive activewear um, activewear swimmer video. I will also link that here. And I also did review a Chiluka piece I hadn't reviewed in the review video, a one piece actually. So um, yeah, I really liked it. I know some people on the web uh, don't like the Chiluka stuff as much. They think it's like, it feels super cheap and stuff. I disagree. Um, it feels quite thin. Some of the items do feel quite thin, but they're all double lined. There's nothing see-through and they're all very comfortable and stretchy and look good on people. They, they're super flattering. And um, I definitely like think, with, especially with a 70% off discount for sure, they're absolutely worth it and there's nothing wrong with the items. So, but that's just my personal opinion. Of course, other people are entitled to have their own opinions. Anyway, should we get started? I think we should. So I'm just grabbing the first piece. We have a one piece. So this is the Isab uh, Isabella Maxi Long. So they, for their one pieces, they sometimes have different uh, coverage options for the bottoms. And they also do have long and regular length. I usually get long because I have a long torso, as I've discovered by trying on a lot of um, one pieces and like rompers and stuff. And they're always kind of like, you know, making their way into areas where I don't want them to be. So uh, I decided to go for a long with this one. It's in this beautiful scarlet color. And I got this in a size medium. Um, it has a lot of like ruching happening. We have removable cup pads here and a built-in shelf bra, which I really appreciate. So that's nice and a little bit of a bow here in the front so you can kind of like cinch it in at the waist a little. Plus we have adjustable straps. That is really good, okay. Um, the fabric feels super nice, very soft. It's not shiny or anything. Uh, it's double lined and yeah, it just feels really good. I think with this one, I was kind of like on the fence if I should get it or not, but then the price was like very convincing. And um, I like the red color. It looks really cute. And I think this is a more, like more of an option if you want a little bit more coverage sometimes, like if you're out with like your family or like, I don't know, your, your in-laws or something, this would be a nice option because it covers a lot of things, but it still looks like cute and not too grandma-esque basically. And yeah, I think the removable cup pads are really, really good. Toluca does not always have removable cup pads in their things. Um, in fact, I think this might be one of the very few pieces that does have that today. So just be aware of that. Um, I prefer to have them because if you don't want them, you can always take them out at least, you know. Can't take them out if they've never been in there. So yeah. But I do like that the, it has the adjustable straps and all this ruching. I think it's super cute. And I also sometimes have a problem because I went with a medium with this. My waist is small, so it's nice to have the option to cinch this in a little. So I really hope it works like that when I try it on. But yeah, let's see it on. All right, guys, we got this fun one piece here. And uh, when I put this on, I remembered why I got a small in another one piece that I have from Toluca. Because uh, this medium um, has a lot of space in the upper body area so like I'm basically nearly like falling out of this because of the um the, the, the vast amount of space and I can just not fill it out so yeah definitely if you have a smaller chest size do size down because this is just ridiculous fits nicely here but I think like you can get the same fit and just like maybe hike it up a little bit more if you get it small instead because yeah this is ridiculous and um like this makes me feel like as a person with like a medium 
but I should have, I don't know, a double D to fill this out. I do not. Um, for me personally, that's fine, but not for the swimsuit. <laughs> so yeah, I know it's easy to do. Like you can just like kind of like tighten this here and like kind of have it sewn over and it's just like, you know, make that a little bit nicer. But yeah, right now uh, I could fit like, I don't know, my boobs four times in this. Doesn't make me feel great about my boobs, okay? Uh, anyway, otherwise I think it's super cute. Uh, also, yes, I did adjust the adjustable straps to the maximum shortness. So, yeah. <clears throat> and that's not it. I'm very happy, though, that there are adjustable straps. And also that this I got the long because I don't feel any, like, pulling on the, this area here. So at least that fits nicely. And we do have this nice um, band that you can just tie and, like, kind of cinch it in the waist a little bit more. And then we have... I don't know, an okay amount of coverage here. Uh, nice lower back as well. And I mean, the back is kind of like simple, but the front has a lot to offer with like all the ruching here as well, right? Um, so yeah, diff like not taking away this uh, ill-fitting issue with the upper body top here, uh, I still think it's a super fun swimsuit. Um, I can't say anything about the support right now because like I said, I do not get any because Apparently my chest is too small for this. So yeah. <laughs> Otherwise I also think you get a good amount of coverage in the front here, because usually like to look at does a lot of this. Or maybe not as extreme, but definitely like you have a nice amount of coverage here. There's slight cutting in here in the sides, but I don't personally mind it that much because it happens with all swimsuits in a way. And we have a nice deep V here. You do have this um built-in sports brush, built-in shelf bra, whatever, but like I said, don't get a ton of support right now because of the uh, fit issue up top here. Um, I will say I don't get a ton of compression either from the fabric in the lower tummy area, but like you have a lot of things like kind of distracting from that with all the ruching, with this belt situation, which you can also, by the way, tie the however you want it. So I could also decide to tie it in the bag, bring it back to the front. So you, you have a lot of options with this here. So if you want a little bit shorter, not hanging as low, you could just literally go around your body once. Also works fine. And then, yeah, I mean, you're showing cheek, but I think that's still like an okay amount. Um, I wouldn't have minded if this had been a little bit more high cut on the hips here, but it's still fine. I think it's still flattering. I really like the color. And yeah, I just wish this would be better fitting up top. Um, but otherwise cute. All right, next up we have the Bianca top. I have this in two colors. I have this in berry, which looks very, very close to the scarlet color, if you ask me. And I also have it in Adonis, which is a beautiful blue butterfly print that I've been eyeing for a while now with the sale coming up, of course. I grabbed it. So um, it's, this is the Adonis print. Oh, grabbing the straps. There we go, we have double straps here. I got this in a size small. This one does not have removable cup hats, so just be aware of that. It is double lined though, we on the inside of the print we have blue, so the base color of the print basically. We do have some, some ruching possibilities here, which I also think is super cute. And um, yeah, double straps. The double straps are not adjustable, so just be aware of that. Or are they? Let me see. Oh yeah, I guess you can adjust them because you can kind of, like it's really hard to show now, but like, you can basically pull this um, for ruching purposes and then this way you can kind of adjust it and make a knot down there and have the strap shorter. So that's good. So this is the berry color compared to scarlet here. You can see that the scarlet is a little bit more bright, a little bit more orangey maybe, but they're very, very similar. Um, and here we have the same top. So again, you have the ruching possibilities here. There's actually a bow tied here, but in the back there's not. But you could also do it on the back, in the back, and then just have, make the strap shorter this way. I think that's actually clever. I like that. I would have liked it more with removable cup hats, to be fair. But um, let's see these on. All right, let's get to this top. I think it's really cute. I would have preferred some cup hats in there. Um, the only thing to notice since this is the print now, it's gonna be different in the solid color, but like if it folds over a little because of a bit because of the ruching, you have a solid color on the inside. Yes, it matches because of this nice royal blue, but like just keep that in mind. Um, so if you're not a fan of that, maybe just get a solid color. 
So yeah, a lot of adjustability. We can make this longer, we can make this shorter by just pulling on these straps, basically. And you can do the same in the back. I have to find a better way of what to do with these. But um, I just wanted to do a quick and dirty, you know, show you what it looks like. I would probably wear it like this, not in the longer version. Um, I like that you have the adjustability with the straps in a different way. It's kind of clever to do it like that. And um, I mean, like I already mentioned, there's no removable cup pads in there, but the print is gonna hide the nippage. So nothing to worry about there. And then in the back, it just looks like a bandeau, but with straps. And like I said, I'll just find something better to do with these or I'll just leave them there, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I really like this print. I think it looks cute, it's flattering. Uh, hides everything that you wanna hide because of the print. And I like this blue. Um, you know, in, in the print as well. Uh, yeah, it's a really cute set also with these high-waisted bottoms. And let's just see this one in red now. All right, here we have this little number in red. So just to show you, you have these straps. Here you can really see the ruching um, with a print that's less visible. And basically like you can kind of pull, undo like this. You can make it longer again, like so you can have it as a, like a longer crop top, you can kind of like cinch it up again. So it's a little bit like adjustable in that way. And then you can also do the same in the back. I just did an ugly knot there now. But theoretically, it would probably be nicer to kind of pull this up as far as you can and then just make the bows a little bit nicer. So, but yeah, you have options. You can make this smaller, you can make this bigger, ruch it up a little bit. Um, and yeah, same in the back. So I like that this is kind of how the straps are adjustable because that still gives it this adjustability. Um, and I see why they didn't put removal cup pads in there because if you kind of cinch it up more, the cup pads should be smaller, but if you wear it a bit longer, they probably should be bigger, but still would have been nice to have some. I think with the print, it's not as obvious, but like you can definitely see some nippage with the red now with just a normal color, uh, just a single color basically. <clears throat> and then of course, just try to, you know, adjust it so it's even on both sides. But yeah, uh, I think support wise, it is not the greatest, but it's also not so bad. And depending on how you wear it, of course. Um, now that I have basically this all right underneath the chest, I get a little bit more support. If I would wear this longer, it would probably be a little bit less. So yeah. All right, to go and match the Bianca top, we have the Gia Maxi bottoms, also in berry and in Adonis. So matchy, matchy here is what I can do. And again, the, I got these in a medium actually because my bottom, you know, my, my butt needs a little bit of space. This is the Adonis and maxi means it has a little bit more coverage in the back. Although I will say, I think it still looks like it's gonna be cheeky. And here we have the berry color. It looks very nice and high-waisted, like you have a highlight cut here. And then actually, we have like some some um, scrunching here in the back. So I think it just looks weird if you hold it up like this. And with a print, you don't see it as much. But, oh, this way around. But I think once you put it on, the scrunch is kind of like stretch itself out a little and just like hopefully not be super obvious, but you can see it's nice and stretchy. Like there's definitely a stretch to it. Not like with some of the leggings where, it, where they have it. And it's also not like you have a silicone strip in here or something. It's just really like a stretchy seam. So that's interesting. Um, there definitely is like a seam at the top somehow or like an elastic here. And you also have that on the side. So there is a possibility of this cutting in a little if it doesn't fit perfectly. But let's hope it does. They still look quite tiny for being a medium. But I've had medium bottoms from them before and it worked fine. So um, I think it should be okay. Let's see these on. All right, I'm showing you the combo of the uh, print with the red here, so you can see it actually matches quite nicely. Um, you can wear this as a combination. But let's talk about these bottoms. So they do have really good coverage. Like, I think these are the most high coverage bottoms that they have, especially, like, at least the ones I've tried, from the ones that I've tried on. So you have, like, really nice coverage here in the front. Super, super high waist, so there's my belly button. And then in the back, I mean, you still have like a nice high leg cut here. And then in the back, we have this slight ruching. I'm still not sure what I f how I feel about it, but I guess it kind of 
accentuates the separation there, the glutes a little bit. Um, so it's not bad necessarily. And also like how they're still nice and high widthed here in the back. So you're like fully tucked in everywhere. Again, not like a ton of compression, but you like you do get a little bit, I think. And I mean, it is flattering. Um, still like not 100% coverage, of course, as you can see. Uh, I don't think it's like the cutting in here on the sides is that bad. There's a teeny tiny bit maybe here um, for have some some jiggle, uh, you know. But this is how this is how women's bodies work. Okay, <laughs> so it's not a problem. And I think these are like if I if I had like a um, a day where I don't feel great but I still want to go swimming or something, I think these would be perfect because like you're covered, you're still showing off a little bit, you can still look sexy, but like you're not like you know, you're not worried about anything and um, everything important is covered. I think the lower tummy is always like an area of insecurity, right? Uh, but yeah, otherwise you have like good amount of coverage and um, yeah, it's still not too like prude or anything. So I think these are great for that. Um, yeah, I will also show them to you in the uh, blue uh, butterfly print, the Adonis print if I remember correctly, in the spinning. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, you know, conclude these by saying that they are actually quite nice and uh, very comfy too. Alright, here we have these bottoms in the blue butterfly print, the Adonis print. So again, nice and high-waisted. They fit the exact same, even though it is a print highlight cut here. And then, I don't think you can see the ruching as strongly on the print here, of course, because the print is kind of like distracting from it still fits the same like I said so it's nice and comfy there's enough wiggle room um and you know you're kind of being like a little modest like covering things up but also still showing things off and um I think these fit like really nicely and I for sure like have a lot uh I will I will for surely get a lot of wear out of these basically because they are so nice and high waisted, and that's what I like so yeah cute All right, I also wanted to try a very, very, very cheeky bottom from them. So I got the Efa mini bottom in berry as well. So to go with the, the top that we saw, and they seem to be very, very cheeky. <laughs> um, so I've had the Buff Bunny sun-kissed bottoms, I think. Um, they're the cheekiest that I've owned so far, but I think these are more cheeky. And they are great. I mean, they're great for like sunbathing and stuff, but like also you can like have them sit higher on your hips or something. And actually I found like less coverage things like to be very flattering. So let's hope this one's the same. It looks still looks nice and high-waisted though. They come up quite high, I think. We have some, some gold rings here on the side. And then you have like the adjustable strings so you can really like kind of make them fit you. That's good at least. I'm not sure how much coverage we'll get in the in the important areas here. In the back for sure, there's not gonna be any coverage. Like it's it's very tiny. Like very very tiny um but yeah at least it's high-waisted uh there's still like kind of a, a, a seam or an elastic up top on these things here and on the sides as well but since you have so little coverage i think it should should be fine um it's not gonna cut into your butt cheeks because it's not really gonna cover your butt cheeks anyway so yeah i'm i'm curious and kind of scared but let's see this one on all right here we have the very minimal bottoms um, you can wear them high like this. You can, also, of course, also wear them a little bit lower in your hips. I personally always prefer the higher um, fit on my hips. It just makes them look a little bit like, you know, gives gives me a nice uh, curve. And it's just a little bit more flattering on my body type. That's all. Uh, I think the medium fits nicely. I mean, of course, you can adjust. If you really want to have minimal coverage, like minimum, minimal coverage, you could probably also size down and just, you know... Um, adjust the straps a little and yeah you can see very nice and high cut here very very adjustable just make sure to you know put a knot on top of your bow because otherwise it might just fall off you we do have these little like gold details here that we do not have on this top for example but like it still fits very nicely with it because we have all these like you know straps and whatever and it's the same color 
Um, I don't, like you don't see any gaping here, which I really like because sometimes it happens with some of these bottoms. And then the bag, just very, very, very minimal coverage. Um, sometimes I do like this. Uh, I think I wouldn't necessarily wear this everywhere, but like if you're really trying to get a tan, clearly not me because <laughs> it's not happening. Uh, but like, you know, or you just, you, you just really like these then, I mean, they, they do feel secure enough that I would say you could probably like go swimming in these and they're not going to fall off. I'm not sure about like high intense, like, like super intense water activities or something, but I'd still like, I think these are nice because they're adjustable. They're very flattering. Um, if you want to show off your butt, these are also good because <laughs> they do exactly that. And I mean, of course you can pair these with any top, like. You could also pair these with the uh, the more strappy like uh, butterfly top, you know, here. So, you know, then you have more straps. Uh, There's like very small bikini uh, in total, or you can just put a bigger top on it or something. So absolutely uh, mix and match uh, worthy and you can do that. And yeah, I feel quite comfortable in these. I will say that like, I'm not afraid of these like falling off or like revealing things they shouldn't reveal. Yes, you have like, not as much coverage here but like I don't I'm not afraid that they're gonna like just all of a sudden like you know uh, reveal things that shouldn't be revealed so I think these fit quite nicely and um, I mean they are flattering so yeah All right, they also had a very cute cover-up. They do have a lot of cover-up options, actually. And since it was so cheap, I was like, whatever, I'll just get it. This is the Claudia um, mini tie lace cover-up. I think they also had this in longer, I'm not sure. And this is in black, and I got this in a size medium large, because, I mean, with cover-ups, you can't go wrong, right? So it's basically just, like, a thing that you tie on the side. It has holes in it, so that kind of, like, more of a curtain situation I think but it looked cute I think it's gonna look really nice with the red like items and um I mean I don't necessarily need to have a lot covered up so I think like I thought this was gonna be fine and it's just like if you don't want to you know walk around completely like in a bikini and just want to put something on at the bottom for like some comfort um I will say that mostly if I need to cover something up because to make me feel more comfortable it's, it's my, my bottom half basically so I thought this was gonna be cute with a little bit of a scalp hem here and yeah you can you can still see through it but at least you feel like a little bit more covered up so um yeah the fabric feels actually quite nice quite decent um quite thick as in like it's it seems very robust if that makes sense and then yeah you can just tie it and like adjust it a little bit to what you need so that's also quite nice you have a little bit of flexibility there and um let's see it on all right, I just threw over this little sarong. Um, I think it's very cute. You can pair it with a lot of stuff since it's black. Um, you're definitely gonna see the side of your one leg here, but you can tie it a little bit uh, tighter still as well. So if you wanna get like a bigger size to kind of cover up a little bit more, since you have the adjustability here from the straps, you could probably tie it a little bit tighter too. So uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's cute, like just having a little bit of leg on show there. And um, I mean, a lot of stuff is still covered up, right? So uh, you can see the uh, bottoms through a little bit here with the, the holes in the pattern. It's kind of cute. It's a nice and lightweight fabric, not like too soft, but it's like, you know, it's just like a kind of throw over thing. And then in the back, I mean, the same thing. You can kind of see skin through a little bit and like the pattern of your swimmer. And I think it's a decent length. I mean, it's like a mini skirt length, right? So yeah, and it's just showing, showing some leg. So you can go to the cocktail bar looking cute and just chill there. Still have your tummy covered up a little bit more than with just a, a swim suit bottom. And uh, like I said, I mean, since I got this in black, I can pair this with anything. Like anything that I got would work fine with this. Just the normal red, like the basic, uh, basic red would look good with it but also the, um, the blue butterfly print. You know, a lot of mix and match options here. And sometimes, you know, it's nice to have something to throw over uh, if you're walking somewhere and you don't want everyone to stare at your ass. Oops, sorry, at your butt. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it's cute. It's definitely also not 
not a ton of money on sale, right? So you can just throw that in there and uh, just have it in case you want to have something to throw over. All right, we have one more print left, but two items, so I could match, you know. We have the um, Amina top, so this is a waist wrap triangle top, and we have this in the pap papillon print, so butterfly in French. Um, again, no removable cup hats, and I'm honestly also not exactly sure how I'm... Oh, I think, so I think this is the one that you put around here, and then you have this, and then you would just you know, undo this whole strap thing and just crisscross it around. Um, yeah, no removal cup hats in this, but we do have, again, it's double lined. So the Adonis print, remember that one that was blue? This is the Papillon print, so it's basically the same print, just in a different color. And here we have red on the inside. Um, so I think you could probably also match it with the red bottoms, just plain red bottoms. And of course, they also have plain blue, so in case you don't want to go all pattern. Um, so yeah. I think this is a basic triangle top. It is. I got this in a small, I think. Let me see. What do you? What does the size say? This says extra small, small, 30 to 32 A to C cuff. Yeah, okay. So sometimes they do have the band sizes and cup sizes as well, uh, which is nice. And again, some gold metal rings here that we could also see with the mini bottoms that I showed you in red. So it kind of matches nicely with those, I think. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of string here. It's it's gonna be very long. I can already see that because it's so much. Um, and of course it's not as adjustable as other triangle tops that you might know because in the back we just have this, it's just fabric. So you tie it in the front, but of course if it's like too, if the cups are too wide or something, it's gonna be a little bit harder to make it fit. So yeah, I mean, I, I got the right band size for me. I'm kind of, I mean, I'm usually between a 32 and a 34 in the band size. So it should work fine, I think. But we'll see that in the try-on, of course. I'm just trying to undo the whole strap situation here so we can see how long these are. But it's, it's taken a while. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Wow, yeah, it's, it's very long. Like, I don't even, what am I doing? See, I'm, I really need to figure this out, I think. Yeah, no, I have no idea. I will figure this out and I will show it to you when I have it on, obviously. Oh no, of course, no, no. No, this has to be the bag. But if this is the bag, why, why do I have this here? Hold on. Do I have it now? So basically something like this. And then, of course, this is too, these are too long now. Something like that. Yes. Okay, anyway, let's just see it on. All right, let's talk about this top. So we do have a lot of adjustability with this one, but also not in the back here. So I kind of feel like I should have probably gone up in size and I would recommend that to you uh, to just go, especially if you're in between, go with the size larger because like it barely covers my boobs. I don't have big boobs, but it barely covers them. And yes, maybe I could have done a little bit more, but not really, because it's kind of tough to do that as well, to get it as tight as you can. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, I got a 30, 32 knot. I'm a between a 32 and a 34. So for sure, I would have preferred to have gone with the larger size on this one, because it goes by band size for this one, right? Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Otherwise, you do have adjustability a lot with this straps situation here. You can kind of wrap it around you as much as you want. Uh, I've done twice, but there's definitely more there as well as an option. And we have adjustability up here as well with the straps here. Uh, we don't have any removable cup hats. Um, of course, the print is gonna be good in hiding the nippage, but if you get like an, a, like just a color, a normal color, not a print, you might you will probably be able to see the nippage a little bit. Um, there's also a seam that goes up here. I'm not sure if you can see it. So if your nipple kind of aligns with the end of that seam, then kind of you're not gonna see it because the seam also creates like, you know, something. I don't know. Um, otherwise, I think I think this is cute. Like I said, I would have preferred a little bit more coverage here. We also have um, tiny gold rings here uh, at the top. So that's also kind of nice. And um, I mean, for my small chest, it's enough support. So 
like not great, but it's like enough. But I think for like bigger cup sizes, it might not be the perfect top. Just thing. I think it would probably be great for tanning for people. Um, but yeah, and I mean, you can adjust it, like wrap it around you, create a few different looks. Um, and I really like the print with this one. So I think it's, I think it's cute. It would probably not have been worth the full amount of money, but it for sure is a good deal with uh, the price it's on sale. So, yeah. All right, and to go with the top, I have the Cora Midi Plus bottoms. So these are slightly different than the Gia Maxi bottoms that we saw. So these are just midi. They're still like, they look very high-waisted and they don't have the scrunch in the back that we saw um, with the other bottoms. Um, I, honestly, I think they look like they have the same coverage in the back, but otherwise like, you know, they, I mean, they don't have the scrunch, probably a little less fabric because of that. Um, still very high-waisted, still like you have a little bit of fabric here, but it looks like it has a high leg cut. And again, you have the red on the inside and the pattern on the outside. So of course, if you don't have the pattern on the inside and it's kind of like rolling, your butt is like starting to eat it, you might be able to see the inside color. At least it's red, so it matches the print, but it's just something to be aware of, I think. Um, yeah, let's see these on. All right, we have very high coverage bottoms here. Um, I'm very nicely tugged in, quite high waist, so you can see my belly button there, barely poking out of them. Um, we do have seams along the edges here, but I don't think they're like too bad or anything. We're cutting in too badly. Decent amount of coverage here in the front, high leg still, and then in the back still like super high waisted, still decent amount of coverage on your cheeks. And these ones don't ha don't have a scrunch, so they also have some that basically are the exact same. Um, the exact same cut, but do have the scrunch. I personally don't really feel a difference, I think. Maybe with the scrunch one, my butt isn't as likely to eat them as much, you know, if that makes sense. But otherwise, like, they have, like, a good amount of coverage while still being, like, a little sexy in a way, you know, because you're not covering everything, but you're covering some things, especially that lower tummy area. If you're a little bit insecure about that, I mean, you're covering that. There's maybe a teeny tiny bit of compression, but not too much. And um, yeah, you're also covering a little bit of your hips here. And then of course in the bag, you're still showing cheek, but I think this is a definitely like a very acceptable amount of cheek. And I mean, of course, depending on how much you like, this is gonna wander into your butt cheeks. For me, that's gonna be a lot, but you know, the coverage might be a little bit more, or a little bit less. But I think like the way it is right now, this is a very decent amount of coverage. And like, if you're covering your butt up more, you're not doing yourself a favor, okay? No, but you know, Joke aside, you can wear whatever you want. So I personally, like, I don't think it looks better on me if I wear like the super like full coverage bottoms. It just doesn't work for me. And also why would I hide in one of my best assets, you know? But like I said, everyone can just do whatever they want. I also think this print is super cute. Um, I really like it. It's classy, but it's also fun. And yeah. All right, it's conclusion time. Um, you know, I will say I really like the items that I got and for 70% off, I mean, there's nothing you can do wrong with this. So yeah, if you've been eyeing something from Toluca for a while, then you should go and check if it's still available in your size and grab it because those prices are good. Um, I know I mentioned in the beginning that some people do not like the quality they get for the price, but for 70% off, there's no one who can complain. And I would have also already said that maybe full price for some of the items was a little much, but like a 70% discount is certainly a steal for most of the things that you can get. So yeah, definitely if you're looking for some swimwear this year still and you think some of the stuff is cute and they have it, you should go grab it. Um, I honestly believe that, okay. Uh, I didn't do wet tests for this one, uh, for these items now this time because I've done some wet tests on some of their white patterns and they weren't see-through, so now that I got darker colors, uh, I think, you know, it's unnecessary because I've already done it on white. And if anything, the fabrics that I had today were much, like, were still a little bit thicker than the ones I had in my first Toluca review, review, so you can go check that one out. And then just, uh, you know, convince yourself of the fact that it wasn't see-through <laughs> there. Um, yeah, but I will say they have some cute stuff. 
Um, about the rumors of them going like out of business, I can absolutely see that happening, especially especially with everything being seventy percent off on the website. And their recent, so they launched something like a few months ago, like two three months ago maybe, and it was a very simple, very small collection compared to what they had done before, and it was like not really interesting at all. It was like super simple, like triangle bikini top and like a very simple bottom, and the print was just like you had the option of brown or brown swirl print or something and that was it you know so it was like six pieces or something or maybe eight but like you know we're comparing this with what they used to launch before with like different patterns a lot of different colors a lot of different styles it definitely seemed like a little weird so i can absolutely see absolutely see them going out of business um so yeah again now is the chance to grab something from their website basically um while they're still stock while they're still selling it i think and um yeah i will say some of the items i would have appreciated if they had removable cup hats uh i already mentioned that as well but otherwise i think it's nice they have so many different options for the bottoms for the tops you can like kind of mix and match or you can go with a matching set but you don't necessarily have to just take that one bottom that one top that is available but you can like kind of really match it to your style if you want a little more coverage if you want a little less coverage if you want one pieces the fact that they do have tall and regular lengths like is really really good I really appreciate that because sometimes with those one pieces I just can't <laughs> but with this now like having the tall option that's really good um yeah so I can only recommend you take a look at the website see if there's something still available in your size that you really like and just grab it for the price you can't go wrong yeah anyway I really hope you enjoyed this swimmer review um if you haven't yet give this video a thumbs up also if you haven't yet subscribe to my channel and um, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram, here are my handles. You can leave comments, feedback, questions, suggestions down here in the comment box, box or you can DM me on Instagram, but be aware that I might not see your DM on Instagram instantly. It might take a while, um, but I will see your comment here on YouTube soon or very fast. So yeah, if you, if you have an urgent question or request or something, or you're wondering why I'm not replying to you, just try a comment here and um, I'll see it very fast. Yes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I really hope you, you enjoyed this. If you have other brands you want me to try, uh, other swimwear brands as well, like or other activewear brands, just let me know down in the comments as well. And I will see you next time. Bye.